Hello viewers, welcome to the third part of this video series. Today I will discuss the read and write criteria to your SRAM memory cell. In the previous video, we observed that how to do the read and write operation of your SRAM memory cell and also identify that the operation become failure due to some fight between transistors and we promise that we will help to win the current transistor. So how can we do that? So let's go. To ensure both read and write stability, the SRAM cell transistors must satisfy the ratio constants. Let me first explain a very important operation of your SRAM memory cell. SRAM operation is divided into two phases. In phase 1, the SRAM is precharged, and in the phase 2, the SRAM is read or written. So basically, before read or write operation, we have to precharge the bit and the bit bell line. Okay, let me draw the circuit for you. So here is our, here is our SRAM memory cell. So before read or write operation, we have to precharge the bit and bit bar. And depending on the write operation, we may need to connect to the ground any of this bit or bit bar. So, how can we features the bit and bit bell line? Okay, we will draw a feature circuit. Okay, so here on the top, we connected two PMOS with the bit and the bit bar. So here. When the pre is 0, it will drive the VDD to the bit and bit bell lines, right? And when the P is on, it will close these two PMOS, okay? Let me give name PMOS, let's say this is P3 and this one is E4 okay so now before the read and write operation we have to keep the features to zero so at the beginning of the phase one you can see in this direction the bit and bit line will be features and during the rising S of the phi 2, when the read or write operation will begin, the features circuit will be turned off and the data will be stable at the bit and the bit bell line. Okay. So now, let me tell you why you need stability. Let's say you are using a 3 to 8 row decoder. You can see the simulation work from here and the word line switches due to the different value for the order inputs. Now you can see when all the chi inputs are rising, there are some glitches to the outputs, right? That means for the small duration, these word lines all are high. So, do you think this can problem in your circuit? Now say for the output 1 0 0 0 0 0 0 0, 0, 0, 0 of the recorder, you write something on, on your memory cell of the first row, right? After that, let's say you also stored that means write operation something on second or third or the fourth row. Now, after writing all the rows, now you want to read from your first row and you go there and so there is sitting a different value. That means your data got flipped. So, what just happened? 
you lost your data and get a wrong output. That means your system failed to hold your data. So what can be the possible reason? Can you identify something from this tool figure? Okay. Here, this is the real-time simulation waveform from the SRAM memory cell from the cadence. So you can see here is the word line of row 1 and here is the word line of row 2 and this is the output of the Q node. So your data need to be stable during this period right. So in this case for the wall line of row 1 you can see your data is stable but what happened in the row 2 you can see there is a large peak on the word line that means for some time your word lines get raised during the other operations so that caused your output changed so that means whatever you stored you just now get the wrong data so why this happened you can clearly see if I zoom so during this features operation right during this features operation both bit and bit bar should be one right but you can see your bit bar gets the full voltage but your bit is not so it somehow falls below the 0 0.2 or 3 volt that means it causes to escape your data from the bit path now if you see the next operation now you can see in your picture circuit when the pre is 0 the both bit and the bit bar is close to the one volt that means both are perfectly pre-charged and you can see in this time there is a high peak on your word line but your data didn't get flipped you can see this is from your the data the relation to the data input and the output is actually reversed so when the word line raised high you can say here the data is 1 so you will get the output 0 right and in this moment your data again got 0 so you will get 1 until the next wall and raised so now you can understand how to hold your data so to hold your data perfectly you need to design your circuit preset circuit such a way so that the bit and bit bar remain high when you will design a large long vertical memory array your feature circuit need to be strong enough to features and keep stable these bit lines and it depends on your vdd source and the channel strength of 
the beam of size. So, the stability of the cell are addressed by those three margins. They are hole, lead, and the right margin. We already get an idea for the whole margin. So, due to the low voltage of beat, the Q node goes down below the whole margin voltage, and that's why your store data lost and flipped. Similar for the data flipped 0 to 1, but this time Q node goes up the whole margin. This situation only arises when the multiple rod lines raised for a very little amount of time. Okay, now let's talk about the read and the write margin.